So the market took a huge dump right after I maxed out all of my margin. Now that's actually worked out pretty well for me and let me show you why. So before we get started, let me remind you, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a dude on YouTube. Take this as entertainment. And with that, let's smash that subscribe button and move on. So back in February, I was sitting at my maximum amount of margin. Now I use margin using M1 Finance, which gives me 35% of my taxable account value as margin at about a 2% interest rate. If you're interested, link down in the description. I love it, it's amazing. Now what I use that margin for is what's important here. I didn't use the margin to buy stocks like, like some people that we know on the internet right now are doing. It's just not something that makes me super comfortable. I have two big projects that I spent that money on. One was a real estate investment. I closed on this property back in January of this year and almost entirely the down payment was paid off through my M1 Finance borrow line, which is really an incredible way to get real estate. And since then, that real estate has gone up by eight to 10% in value, which leveraged, that's a roughly 40 to 50% return on my money in just a few months. Now, real estate's actually a really great way to use your margin against your stocks to buy because it's a, it's a rather stable asset. It's in a, typically in a very appreciate Appreci appreciable? Appreci appreciating? Appreci it goes up. It goes up to the right. It goes up. And because you can get these, these great 30-year fixed mortgages when the values go down that are not going to go and margin call you, it's actually like a great way to put your margin in. And worst case scenario, you get a margin call over on your tax a taxable account and you need to sell some stocks to cover it, but you live and you learn. Now, the other project that I'm spending this money on is this house, this very one that I'm in. You see, we bought this house back in, uh, it was March of last year, March of 2020, the height of everything. Am I right? Am I right? That market crash was fun. Well, I bought right then. And this house is in a great area. All of the houses around are million dollar houses plus two million. There's even some four or five million just right around the block. This house here, $705,000, something like that. Why? Well, because it's old as sh And like this basement area is dope. The rest of the house, awful, awful carpets, awful wallpaper, old, gross floors is everything. The kitchen particular is bad. One of the first things we wanted to do when we moved in was redo the kitchen. Now, after we fixed all of the lead problems in this house, that was a project. We started the remodel on the kitchen. Now this kitchen is gonna end up costing us around $121,000 and <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, that makes me embarrassed to even say online. That's a lot. But it's actually gonna return a decent amount not a massive amount. I'm not treating this house so much like an investment. This house, we wanna build into what we've always wanted to build. So we're gonna put a decent amount in. But over the life of this project, I expect to put in somewhere between $300,000 and $500,000. And that should net at least a six hundred dollars to 900000 maybe a million dollar profit based on where this market is continuing to go in this area, as well as the comparable homes around here. If you just, if you were able to remodel it right now for $300,000 and have it done today, we could net about $400,000 in profit on that investment. So those are the two things I'm putting my margin on. And again, I use my stock market sort of like a piggy bank. It's a very relatively safe portfolio, maybe not based in this YouTube world, like my number five holding is Tesla, but the others are NASDAQ, S&P mid cap, S&P small cap, you know, the gist of it. So it's not a super volatile portfolio, so I'm not expecting it to get a margin call and at 35% margin limit, I need to have my portfolio value go down by over 50% to get more margin called. And I just don't think that's extremely likely. And even if it is, I'm willing to sell stocks to cover it because these other investments are worth it. So that said, 
I know, you think I'm gonna say smash the like button here. I'm not, not yet. Be safe when you're using margin and when you're using debt, but leverage can really improve your net worth quickly, especially in the real estate market. I got really focused in this real estate market, especially in single family homes, by following a lot of Meet Kevin's information. I will link his courses down below. I also have a video up here where I review his courses. And now I'm gonna ask you to hit that like button and share this with someone if you think it might be valuable to them, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.